Hi, Bruce Edgerly here from Backcountry Access, co-founder and vice president of BCA. Um, we're going to talk about basic multiple burials. What do I mean by basic? Is that an oxymoron? No. Uh, multiple burials involving one or two victims is what we call basic multiple burials. And this will cover really 95% of multiple burial situations. Generally, statistics say that 85% of all complete burials are single burials. Another 10% are two victims, and then another 5% is three or more. So if we go through basic multiple burials involving two victims, that's going to cover between that and one victim scenarios. That's 95% of all complete burial situations. All multiple burial situations are different. Um, you know, you're gonna. It, a lot of the techniques are gonna depend on the manpower you have, and how big the scenario is, of course, how many people are buried. Uh, but generally speaking, in the majority of cases, the techniques you use in a multiple burial are gonna be the same techniques that you use in a single burial. You find the first person, if possible, you turn their transceiver off, and you move on to the next person. Or maybe if there's two people searching or more, you line up across the slope, move down the slope together. One person isolates this person, one person isolates that person. That's two single burials done in parallel. All transceivers are designed to bring you to the strongest signal. So if you have a multiple burial, it's going to bring you to the closest one first. Um, and that's based on signal strength. The stronger the signal, the more likely it is to bring you to that victim first. Some of them are better at doing this than others. Generally, the ones with faster processors are, are better at doing this, but eventually you, you'll find the closest signal. So if you just walk through the debris in a systematic manner, you're gonna find all the victims. The only time this starts to get a little bit more complicated is if the victims are buried really close to each other. Then if you were to find one and you couldn't turn his or her transceiver off, and you kept walking on your systematic search pattern, you could walk past a victim that was just on the other side of the one you just found. This is why close proximity situations are a little bit more technical and why we have special functions on transceivers to work through those kinds of scenarios. But we'll talk more about complicated searches in a later video.